Welcome to another Adobe Photoshop video tip from H&H Color Lab. Okay, in today's tip I'm going to show you a technique that you can use in two different places. The first example is going to be what we're seeing here on the screen. I needed to do a commercial shoot. Basically I needed to take a picture of the front of H&H Color Lab's uh, main entrance and the angle that the designers wanted you can see I have a bit of a problem getting the the front of the entrance way there's a sign in the way uh, as I move left and right if they wanted that angled shot now if I come in and uh, open up one of those images so let's just open that up into Photoshop I could very easily well I shouldn't say very easily but I could come in here and either use a rubber stamp tool and sit here and spend hours trying to get that cleaned out but dealing with all the reflections in the background trying to keep that to look realistic you know that would just take a significant amount of time um, I could come in let's see and try to go back and and try another technique here maybe if I lassoed that out kinda loosely um, let me go to my lasso tool and then just kinda lassoed around that and let's see if I come under this edit and uh, try to do a content aware fill so edit fill and content aware and see how that happens on this well that that doesn't work either I get some a lot of weirdness I've still got to do a lot of cleanup so I'm looking for a way to handle this problem a little bit quicker since I knew that this sign was going to be a problem I kinda of approached shooting this with a, a specific idea in mind I knew that cloning this out wasn't going to be a good uh, good uh, use of time to get rid of that sign and I knew that content aware fill probably wasn't going to work so when I took the shot I just took my first shot which is the one that you see here on the right side and then I took like one or two steps just straight to the right took another shot then took one or two steps to the left took another shot and that's what you see up here is you see the first shot and then the third shot where I moved to the left what I was looking for was to try to move this sign to a different part of the background between those two because my plan was to come through and mask those off to to blend it together so I'm gonna start just by moving uh, the one image on top of the other I held down the shift key and drug it over and that kind of matches everything up on the frame so we'll close this one to get rid of it and I can turn that layer on and off and see yes the sign is moving but in doing that I also see that you know I moved just enough and I wasn't on a tripod that you know the shape of the doorway is changing as well so I need to address that because I can't come in put a mask on that top layer just gonna fill that with black I used shift F5 to, to bring up my shortcut key for black grab a brush and paint with white we can see the doorway is not quite lining up if I do it that way okay so just adding a straight mask to it isn't gonna work so what's my next choice well digging down into my bag of tricks here I thought I'm gonna try something else I'm gonna select those two layers together come up under edit and try using uh, my auto align layers option go with the auto on that and let that think and sure enough yeah you see it's starting to transform and stretch things a little it also straightened and I've got a much better alignment on those now so I'm gonna go with this top image layer one I like having that on top I think that looks a little bit better I like that image in general better so I'm gonna select that layer put a mask on it and then make sure that mask is filled with black so now I grab my brush with white and just come in and paint just that white area and just very quickly I can get rid of that sign you wanna see me do that again here I'll show you how quick it is to get rid of and you're going yeah Bentley I know but you left a little bit of stuff behind there well that little bit I left behind is a lot easier and quicker to clean up than trying to clone or fix everything up there in the doorway okay so now I can zoom in on that and maybe just do a little bit of rubber stamping 
uh, down in this area to make sure the grass and that line stand out. But look how much quicker I was able to get that doorway in place. Great, you say, but I don't tend to shoot doorways. How else could I use this? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, here's another way that you can use this. You can see on the screen here, I have a family group shot. I've got a horizontal and a vertical version. And if we look at this, we see there's some differences in it. First off, uh, the little girl right here has her arms crossed in one and not in the other. And there are some slight differences of expressions as you look through that. I wonder if this technique will work on these images the same. So let's come in and put those side by side and again uh, move an image on top of the other one. In this case I'm not going to worry as much about holding that shift key down because I've got two different orientations, one's horizontal and one's vertical. So we can see that's on there and by moving that around I can see the rest of the canvas is still intact. So I'm going to do the same thing highlight the two layers together, come up under Edit and choose Auto Align Layers, say OK, give it just a second to process, and sure enough it aligned those two together pretty well. Um, you can see with the people and the reflections in there, and again I can just pick the layer that I want to be the most prominent, put a mask on it, and grab my brush again with white, and come in and just paint around her and change her with her hands down to her side just like that and I am done. This works really well for swapping out people. Uh, I've used it for head swaps. A couple things that help coming into play. Try to keep the the angles and the distance similar. You can also uh, help to stay with a similar focal length. Hopefully that'll save you some time the next time you need to do a head swap or there's something right in front of what you need to take a picture of. Just remember, take a step to the left, take a step to the right, and you're done.